Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will be teaching you about data types in Python. So what is a data type? Basically, data type is the type of value a variable carries. For example, if I just type in out some variables and give them some values. So x equals 69 and y equals quote 69. Although x and y have the same values but they have different data types so in order to check their data type we use the type function in javascript but before that i will just print out x and y so print x and print y so let's check what will be the output as you can see that both the values 69 have been printed out but trust me that variable x and variable y have different data types although the values are same but they have different data types so in order to check the data type we use the type function in python okay minimize it so let's check out the type of variable x and variable y and for that i will just use the print function and inside this print function i will write in the type function so type round brackets and the name of variable x okay and the same goes with variable y so print type and variable y okay remove this extra round parenthesis okay now let's just run this code as you can see that the variable 69 has a in type or integer data type and the second variable y has a string or state data type okay moving forward we let's check some other examples of data types in python okay comment this out comment okay i will just create a data type for but before that okay okay so x equals to 69 and y equals to string 69 code 69 and z equals to 6.9 see this is a integer data type or int this is an integer data type and this is a string and this is a float data type or a float value or a floating number okay so you can even change the data types of a assigned variable and for that i will just work out on example okay so x equals to 69 as you can see here that my variable x has a value of 69 so what i will do here is write x equals float x equals float and inside this i will just write in the name of variable x and now i will just print the value of x okay so let's run this out here as you can see that the value is printed out 69.0 and its value type has changed and for that i will just print out another syntax so print type function name of x the variable name okay print out run as you can see that 69.0 is a class of float although the x x value was 69 and now it has been changed to 69.0 because i have converted the value of x into a float value although it was an integer value and you can even do it with the strings for example if i just type in out string okay stir so stir is the keyword for string so let's just run okay run as you can see that 69 has been converted into a string see here okay moving forward but before that i will comment this out Okay, minimize this minimize okay data types in 
Python. So there are multiple data types in Python and the first one is a, a text type and it includes strings and we have the second type which are numeric types and it has the integer types and float types and complex types. Okay, moving forward we have the sequence type and in this sequence type we have list and tuple and range and moving forward we have the mapping type and in here we have the dict or dictionary and moving forward we have set types and in this we have the set and the frozen set and in moving forward we have the boolean type in which we have a bool data type or we have the values whose output would either be true or false and we have the binary types which have bytes, byte array, memory view and none type which only has none. Okay, so I will just write in the syntax of all these variables. Listen, I will teach you each and every shit in programming. Trust me, you will learn the shit out of Python by watching my videos. Okay, first of all, I will just write in a string so x equals to and quotes hello world so this whole thing is a string this whole thing is a string data type moving forward i will just write an integer data type so x equals 20 and this is an integer data type okay and x equals 20.5 so this is a float data type and x equals 1j so this is a complex data type so complex numbers are written with j as the imaginary part so we will dive in so we will dive deep into this later but for this video i will just write in the syntax of all the data types in python okay so now i will just write in the list type okay so x equals square brackets and some names apple and my banana my banana okay my banana comma and i will just write in grapes okay so this is a list type list or only a list okay i will declare another tuple so x equals round brackets and inside this i will just add in some values so apple okay apple comma banana comma another string and fruit okay that's quite cool or grapes it was good okay and now I will write in the syntax of a range so x equals range and which will be 6 or whatever value you can which will be 6 okay so now I will write in the dict type or the dictionary type so x equals curly brackets so inside this I will write in key value pairs so name and colon and string so name will be jade and comma another string so age and colon will be 69 okay that's quite good so this is a dict type, dict type and the above is a range and above range I have a tuple. We will learn about them later but for this video it is necessary to know all the syntax of the data types in python. Okay moving forward after dictionary I have a set which is x curly brackets and i will add in some values so i will just copy these values from here because i don't want to waste unnecessary time okay paste it here so this is a set and after set i have a 
frozen set so its syntax it uh, somewhat different so x equals frozen set round brackets and inside this round brackets i will have curly brackets and i will add in some value so this is the syntax of a frozen set okay now we have the boolean values or the bool in short so a boolean value can either be true or false either it can be true or false but listen these are case sensitive meaning true can only be written with the letter t in upper case and not the letter t in lower case and the same goes with false you cannot write false something like this you have to mention the first letter as upper case when assigning a boolean value whether true or false the true boolean and now i will just write in a byte so x equals b quotes and hello okay and i will just write in a syntax of byte array so x equals byte array which will be 5 okay byte and this was bytes okay so i will write in the syntax of memory view so x equals memory view and inside this memory view i will have the bytes so bytes which will be 5 okay so this is the syntax of memory view but listen the most used data types are boolean integer strings and floating point etc okay moving forward i will just type in a none type which will be the last of my data types okay so x equals to none so this is the syntax of a none type you cannot write none with an lower case the first character of none should always be an uppercase character okay so this is a none type i know this lecture is quite boring but trust me as i move forward it will be quite fun so this was all for data types in python i will explain all these data types in the videos coming forward okay but for this i will just comment this out and thank you for watching and please subscribe subscribe subscribe